Hello Design Star and today video I will demonstrate how to create a knife pleated skirt in Cloth 3D using clear step-by-step -step instruction. We'll cover everything from creating the skirt pattern and applying the pleated fold to using the pleated sewing tool. I will also show you how to apply the fabric and adjust the particle distance to achieve a realistic look. Okay guys, to create a nice pleated skirt, I will use this rectangle tool. Simply click on that to select, then click one on the page. I will type in 30 and press on the tab key and type in 4cm. Then come down here to number or shape. I will change that to 2, then I'm going to click on OK. After that, I will change to this transform pattern tool. Click one on this fabric here to select, then hover the mouse on there and then drag it down right click and under height i'm going to change that to 46 centimeter after that i will click on ok next we want to create two more copy simply command or control plus letter c command or control plus letter v and then i will press on shift and then click one then command or control plus letter d and press on shift to create another copy next we want to merge them together I will select this Edit Pattern tool, then click one right here, right click, and I want to select Merge. I will do the same right here, except we have to select two sides here. Click one, press on Shift, and then click one more, right click, and select Merge. After that, I will remove this point here because we don't need them. I also want to remove these lines as well. Simply go to the Trace tool, my key selects all these lines, and then press on the Delete or Backspace on the keyboard. After that, I want to align this pattern to the waistband. Simply go to Transform Pattern Tool, click and then Align. Let me zoom in a little bit. And we want that Align Center. Now I'm going to my key select them and then bring them down here a little and zoom it in. Next, I want to create internal lines onto these skirt pieces. To do so, I will select this Edit Pattern Tool, click one right there to select and then press on Shift. Click one right here, right click, and I'm going to select distribute internal line between segments. And I'm going to type in here 38, then click on OK. After that, I will come over here to this full rendering. Click on that box to turn on. Then hover the mouse on top of that internal lines, and then right click, and I'm going to select extend slash trim and add point to pattern outline. After that, we want to use this split fold tool to create the fold. Simply come to this split tool, click on it, and then click on this split fold. And I'm going to click one right here, and then click toy here. And by default, I have my pleated box check. And number of internal line per pleat is 3. Perfect. Fold angle 0 to 360. That's awesome. And I'm going to click on OK. After that, we want to sew the waistband to the skirt pattern. I will use this pleat sewing tool here to sew the skirt. Simply click on it and then select this pleat sewing tool. And I'm going to click one to show it. Click once again to end. And click one right here and hover the mouse to the right. And then click once again to end. After that, we want to make a copy. Simply go to this transform pattern tool. My key selects all the pattern pieces. Command or control plus letter C. Command or control plus letter V. Then I'm going to press on shift and then click one to place the pattern. After that, we want to place the pattern on to the avatar. Before we doing that, I will come over here and click on this reset to 2D arrangement off. Now I will turn on the show or high arrangement point and I'm going to mark key selects these pattern pieces and hover the mouse over the avatar. Click one to place. Then I will come over here to this property editor and I want to change that to flat. And I will press on number 8 here. And I'm going to my key select these back pattern pieces and click one right there to place the pattern. And I will change that to flat as well. There you go. Next, I will turn off this show and high arrangement point there. Now I'm going to strengthen the pattern. So after that, I want to sew the waistband together. Simply use the segment sewing tool. Click one to start it, and then click one right here. And click one to start it. Click one right there. After that, I will switch to, to the transform pattern tool. Let's click on the simulation button to simulate. And let's press on the spacebar to stop. 
and I'm going to adjust the pattern up a little bit and simulate it one more time. There you go. Next, we want to sew the side seam. Simply stop the simulation and then I'm going to zoom in and use the segment sewing tool. Click and sew. After that, I will simulate one more time to see the effects. And that is. Let's stop and I will unstrengthen. Simply select all the pattern pieces, right click and select unstrengthen. And let's simulate one more time to see the effects on the skirt itself. Alright, there are a couple more things we need to do here. So we want to apply the appropriate fabric onto the skirt. To do that, I will come over here to this fabric folder, double click on it and then type into the search box here. And I want to apply this wool fabric, click and drag, drop onto it. Then I want to change the color of the fabric. Simply check this desaturation to turn it on. And then I'm going to come down here and click on this color. And I want to change to somewhat bluish. And then I'm going to click on apply and close. After that, let me my key select all the pattern pieces. And I want to change the particle distance to 10. Then let's simulate once again. Then Stop the simulation. Okay, there you have a design user. We just created this perfect my pleated skirt in close to the easy step-by-step. -step. I hope you guys found this video helpful and remember to follow me on Encoder Fashion for more awesome videos like this. Thanks for watching guys.